a rancher has 300 yards of fence with which to enclose three sides of a rectangular garden. The fourth side is a cliff wall and will not require fencing. Looking at our diagram here, we'll let this black side be the side where there's a cliff, and so the rancher has to fence these three sides. We're asked to find the dimensions of the garden with the largest possible area. For the purpose of this problem, the width will be the smaller dimension needing two sides. The length will be the longer dimension needing one side. So we'll label the length of these two sides W, the length of this side L. And because the rancher has 300 yards of fencing, we know that L plus W plus W, or L plus 2W, must equal 300. Now our goal here is to maximize the area of the rectangular garden and the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. To maximize the area though, we want to have the area equation in terms of one variable rather than two. So we'll use this equation here, which is called the constraint, solve for L and then perform a substitution for L in the area equation. To solve this equation for L, we'd subtract two W on both sides. So L is equal to 300 minus two W from here, if L is equal to 300 minus 2W, we can substitute 300 minus 2W for L in our area equation. So we'd have the area is equal to the quantity 300 minus 2W times W. Now let's clear the parentheses. So we'd have the area equals, let's put the W squared term first. So we have negative 2W squared plus 300W. Now that we have area expressed in terms of one variable, the variable W, we should recognize that we have a quadratic function or a quadratic equation, and therefore if we were to graph this, we would have a parabola. And because the coefficient of the W squared term is negative, we'd have a parabola that opens down. So remember in general, when we have a quadratic function in this form here, if A is positive, the parabola opens up. If A is negative, the parabola opens down. So again, we have a parabola that looks like this. It opens down. And because we're trying to maximize the area, we need to find the coordinates of this high point called the vertex. And when our quadratic function is in this form here, the x-coordinate of the vertex is equal to negative b divided by 2a, and the y-coordinate is equal to f of negative b divided by 2a, which means to find the y-coordinate, we substitute the value of negative b divided by 2a into the function for the input variable. Of course, for our equation, x is equal to w, and f of x is equal to a. Looking at our specific graph for our area equation, we have a equals negative 2w squared plus 300w, and the parabola looks like this. When graphing with software, though, we normally have to use y and x rather than a and w. But our goal here is to find the coordinates of the vertex, this point here, where the first coordinate is going to give us the w value or width of the rectangle that will maximize the area of the garden, and the a coordinate is going to give us what that maximum area would be. So notice for our equation, A is equal to negative two, B is equal to positive 300, and we don't need C to find the vertex, but C is equal to zero because there's no constant term. Let's go to the next slide and find the coordinates of the vertex. So again, the x-coordinate or in our case, the w coordinate of the vertex is equal to negative b divided by 2a, which would be equal to negative 300, divided by 2 times negative 2. So we have negative 300 divided by negative 4, which equals positive 75. So the w coordinate of the vertex is 75. And now to find the a coordinate, or the maximum area, we need to substitute w equals 75 into our area equation. So let's say a of 75 is equal to negative two times 75 squared plus 300 times 75. 
Of course, we could also use the factored form of our area equation, which we have here, but we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. And now we'll go to the calculator. We have negative two, and then in parentheses, 75 squared plus 300 times 75, which gives us 11,250. So the coordinates of the vertex are 75 comma 11,250. Let's go back to our graph and just verify these values are correct. Notice how the W coordinate is 75, and the A coordinate does look like it's 11,250. Now going back to our first slide, we now know the width is equal to 75 yards to maximize the area. We also know the largest possible area is 11,250 square yards, but we still don't know the length, but we can find the length using our equation here where L equals 300 minus 2W. If L equals 300 minus 2W and W equals 75, L is equal to 300 minus 2 times 75, so we'd have 300 minus 150, which equals 150. So the length is equal to 150 yards to maximize the area. I hope you found this helpful.